Hunter's daycare ended up calling me saying that he wasn't feeling that hot so he needed to be picked up so he's currently taking a nap he's running a low temperature so I'm not gonna be able to work today like I initially wanted to so I have to get Ella a new pair of sneakers and a new sweatshirt um, so I'm gonna have to run out later but I figured in the meantime while he's resting I need to get a, ooh, a few last minute things planted as I just got my pants soaking wet. I have some seeds going that I showed in the last vlog I picked up but I picked up three more probably my last ones for the season and I want to try this way of um, getting the seeds to sprout so right now they're soaking in mason jars in water um, you can tell I, it's corn. I sort of pinched the empty uh, paper in between the lid. Um, but they're going to soak until the morning, overnight. In the morning, I'll come out, take all the water out, drain it out, and then I'll soak it again at night, drain it out. And I'm going to keep doing that until I start seeing sprouts. And then I'll just, I think, do it less often until I'm able to transport them. So I had corn, I have chives, um, and I also have more sweet peas. I already have corn and sweet peas planted, but I'm a little nervous, I'm not sure. If I don't start seeing sprouts in a week, um, I, I'm not sure if I planted enough or what's gonna take and what's not. So I just wanted to get some going, just in case. So I'm gonna try this method with you guys and I'll bring you back and update you on these three mason jars. But I also need to get some of my herbs planted. And I think I'm going to put them, like, when the chives start sprouting, they are a potted variety. So they are going to go into a pot. And I do have a terracotta pot over here. But I think I'm just going to buy another terracotta pot for when those chives are ready. Because I have, again, a few herbs that I still need to get planted. I also have a hanging planter that you just saw me get uh i just got everything all wet with uh so i have two planters but i have mint and parsley here and i just have a couple of each um i do have more herbs oh and oregano so i have three varieties here but i only have one mint and i actually have a bus bucket again of herbs because i didn't know where i wanted to put them just yet um over in the garden so i'm gonna put this mint one with the other ones because there's still some room I can plant that but as far as my parsley and oregano goes those are gonna go into separate containers so I'm just kind of trying to figure out which one is gonna go into which container which I guess doesn't really matter it already has some soil ready to go I guess because the oregano just has bigger leaves I'm gonna put the parsley into the terracotta pot and I like keeping these little containers when I start germinating more sprouts maybe next season i'll keep those in the shed and reuse them of course i'll give them each a good water but i'm gonna keep the little tag so i know exactly where i planted everything but for now there is my parsley and i'm not sure i'm gonna have to check the other bucket full of my herbs and see if i have more parsley in there i know i have rosemary now oregano i think i have pretty much all the spices I would end up personally using. Now, same thing with my oregano, but the oregano is gonna go in the hanging basket. I'm just putting it in this one because the leaves on the oregano seem bigger, and this hanging basket pot is larger. It has more space for growth, so I figured if I'm making an educated guess here, then that is probably my safest option. Same thing, I'm gonna recycle those containers and use them for next year i'm gonna go and give these guys a good water and get this hung up in the sun but there is barely see it there's my oregano and again my parsley is in the terracotta pot and while i'm over there i'm just gonna get my mint planted as well um i'm having my leftover pizza <laughs> I'm gonna make my next round of cake pops before I get to make the kids dinner tonight. So I took the video I linked down and below. I just wrote out the recipe and step-by-step -step for me, but I'm following that thing to a T, including she had Pillsbury cake mixes. I think I'm just gonna do yellow cause white 
I don't know, if I burn it, I guess you could tell a little easier. So we'll do another experiment on the yellow. But the interesting thing about this cake pop, uh, mix the, for the dough is it has no frosting, which I actually really like. I'm going to give it a try and hopefully this time they'll turn out. Okay, this was my first attempt. Okay, there's so many things that went wrong. One, I don't think I'm supposed to use devil's food cake because I think it's too moist of a cake. Um, they're not round. They kind of got squished. I mean, they're good. But they definitely look like somebody's first time making cake pop, so. Ignore what this says, we're gonna follow our this recipe. So I have the cake mix, half a cup of milk, three quarter cups of water, two eggs, and we're actually gonna add butter, uh, four tablespoons of melted butter. And all of that is going into the same bowl. I also have my um, baking area prepped and ready to go. It's aligned with parchment paper. So she bakes it at, so she bakes it in like a larger pan, like a square pan, a eight by 12 pan. Again, I, I'm working with what I'm, I've got at the moment, but she bakes it at 325 for between 20 and 25 minutes. She, you want no browning. Again, I'm not working with a conventional oven and my toaster oven is too small. So I'm hoping for no browning. Oh baby. I'm hoping for no browning, but if there is, honestly, I'll just end up shaving it, shaving it off anyway. I'm gonna keep my eye really closely on this cake though. And I will see you guys in about 20 minutes. Mm. I'm sorry, but yellow cake is so good. I know I shouldn't be doing that, but. Pizza, please. More pizza? The timer just went off, so I'm going to move the cover because I'm going to wrap it immediately in tin foil. It's called like making the cake sweat or something. It gets really wet and moist because we're locking in all that moisture. I'm just taking aluminum foil and I'm going to make sure that this is covered for at least a half an hour. So the cake's been cooling for at least a half an hour. Um, I haven't looked at the bottom at all to see if there's any browning. It looks good. The sides look good though. I don't I don't think we got a lot of color. So I'm, just, I'm gonna take some plastic wrap and first put it over the cake. So it's cool, it's still warm, but it's cool enough to handle, <clears throat> but I'm still getting some steam off of it, which is what we want. And I'm hoping to basically flip the cake over onto this plastic wrap, and then we're gonna cover the cake entirely with more plastic. So uh, let's hope that this doesn't go horribly wrong. The bottom definitely got some browning, so um, we're. I'm just going to take a serrated knife and just take off like ever so little of the cake, but not right now. Let me take my plastic wrap and cover the top. I swear, I'm following the tutorial that I um, put in the description below. We are continuing to sweat the cake. Oh, this side still needs more plastic wrap. Oh, if you touch the cake, it is gonna be quite wet and sticky, but that's what we want. I have a bunch of these gel food coloring dyes as well. So I have more white chocolate melts so I can make a bunch of different colors if I wanna do some swirls or uh, dip, <clears throat> dip them in different colors, red, white, and blue, or whatever I really wanna do. So that's my yellow cake. So this is gonna sit overnight. I'm going to do the exact same process now, the exact same ingredients, the same kind of cooking, knowing I'm probably going to get a little bit of a brown bottom again, but tomorrow, uh, again, we'll just go in with a knife and take care of that. 
but we're gonna do our white cake now that I feel a little more confident. I'll just bring you back after I have this baked as well. I'm currently playing Minecraft with the kids, but the white cake is done. Hold on one second, sweetie. I was just taking off. There's a little bit of color on the bottom of this one, so I'm just taking that right off. My cat keeps meowing at me to go outside, so I gotta go tend to him, but I'm gonna cover the second cake again in plastic wrap, just the way I did the first one. And that is it. We're gonna let these sit overnight, absorb all of that moisture, and then tomorrow we'll come back and we're just, we're still gonna follow the same, uh, we're gonna keep following the same YouTube videos. I have some white chocolate melts ready to go, as well as I bought just one of those like floral styrofoam planter things. Um, just that way I can stick the, I don't have a cake pop holder just yet. I'll probably, I'll invest in one, but for now, uh, so we can experiment. I have those two ready to go. So my cakes are all set. I'm going to put them somewhere safe where they're not going to be eaten up. We will be back tomorrow. I'm going to just go hang out with the kids. It is um, vacation week. The little man is still just not feeling hot. So he's resting on the couch and Ella and I are playing with the switch on the TV. So I'm going to hang out with my kids for the night. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up. It does mean a lot. And hopefully I'll see you back again so we can finish up these cake pops because it would be a shame if you didn't see how they came out. I hope to God they came out, they come out better than my first ones. I have high hopes for this stove we're about to uh, finish making tomorrow. So fingers crossed.